After the recent Ali Imzorovic cheating controversy, it seems another outrageous cheating allegation has taken its place. This time, it's Bryn Kenny who has been put under the crosshairs of some cheating accusations that borders on outright insanity. In this video, we look at all these allegations and what this does to the online poker landscape. Poker Twitter has been set ablaze this week and for all the wrong reasons after Martin Zamani took it to Twitter to blame Bryn Kenny for running a collusion ring on GG Poker. Later Doug Polk organized a podcast to search out about the entire story. Polk claims that Kenny's counsel threatened him with legal action if misinformation is shared and badly impacts him. Nonetheless, Doug Polk began the interview 10 minutes later much to the delight of the poker community. In the podcast, Bryn Kenny was accused by Zamani of recruiting horses to collaborate in online poker games as a group. Bryn Kenny met Zamani through WPT champion Dennis Blyden who is currently serving six and a half years in the jail for a 2.7 million embezzlement fraud. Zamani in outing Bryn Kenny himself admitted that he was part of a group of players that allegedly cheated others out of potentially millions of dollars but he wants to make it right. According to Martin Zamani, Bryn Kenny would promote 5k and 10k tournaments and he would earn all the rake from the tournaments and would also force and quote unquote harass all his horses to play so there is minimal or no overlay in those tournaments. According to some sources, Bryn was earning almost close to 2 million per week just from the commission. Another allegation was that Bryn would encourage his horses to collude in 10k or 25k satellites saying make sure to always do what's best for the team. And he did not want the satellites to end early or else Bryn would lose all the overlay. Zamani also accused that Bryn was able to see other players screens when they were playing on GG Poker. This accusation if true could be troublesome for the reputation of GG Poker as this has a similar vibe to the ultimate bet super user cheating scam which was one of the biggest poker cheating scams of all time. This concern was also put out by Doug Polk after the interview in a Twitter post. Forced collaboration in satellites, use of real-time assistance and ghosting were just a few of the cheating strategies mentioned by Zamani. Those who were reportedly involved in online poker cheating at GG Poker and Party Poker were urged to do what they were told or risk being kicked out of the staking position according to Zamani. That allegedly entailed living the lifestyle Bryn Kenny desired which included following a vegan diet and living according to Kenny's expectations. Kenny's horses would be chastised according to Zamani for not upholding the leader's standards. He used the example of a player sneaking out to Taco Bell and getting reprimanded for it. Zamani also said that Bryn would do multi-accounting. One of the instances he mentioned in the podcast is that Bryn Kenny befriended Lauren Roberts but encouraged all his horses to join her table when she was online because she was a weaker player. Then when Bryn Kenny was with Lauren, he would play on her account unbeknownst to all his horses. Bryn is also accused of encouraging ghosting by his stronger horses when one of his weaker horses reaches the final table to ensure maximum chance of winning. These stronger horses used RTA to get an unfair advantage on their opponents. One of the most outrageous stories Zamani told was the time Bryn forced him to visit a shaman to cleanse his energy. This included Zamani doing sort of a painful ritual called combo used by indigenous people for centuries to heal and cleanse the body by strengthening its natural defenses and warding off bad luck. Zamani said that the shaman would take incense sticks to the skin and blister it up. Then the blisters would be cut with a knife to open up the pores and then poison taken from frogs are poured into the cuts. Thankfully, Zamani didn't permit the shaman to go through with the ritual on his body. When Zamani complained to Bryn about this ordeal, Bryn told him to at least do a mushroom trip with the shaman to which he agreed. While the shaman event has nothing to do with the poker cheating controversy, it does provide insight into the cult-like environment in which Kenny's players are allegedly held. Regardless of Zamani's assertions, there is still no proof provided in this matter. However, Zamani said that he has the chat log of the conversation between him and Bryn Kenny. There was another instance in the interview where it was mentioned that Luke Schwartz had to paint a mural of Bryn Kenny for his birthday just to get into his staking program. Many people in the poker world have since come out and confirmed that they heard similar things 
Although, this was hinted a few weeks ago by streamer Henry Kilbane. A lot of people I've spoken to in, in private without like naming any names, some of the elite people um, have also discussed you know, him, Jake Schindler, uh, Bryn Kenny, and then a lot of their horses as well. Like there, I remember seeing a, a screenshot from a Discord group where where Bryn was like literally telling his uh, his horses to use this software whilst playing. Duck Polk also stated during the video that players he knew were texting him to confirm the charges. For Zamani, he appeared to have no regrets after the interview. As rightly said by Duck Polk, playing online high stakes poker in today's environment appears risky and if such things continue, online poker is in for some dark times. This video is powered by Bluff the Spot, the best place to learn how to win at poker from actual high stake coaches like MMA Sherdog. Check the link in the description.